there's a lot of success, but at the same time, you know, there's a lot of that intergenerational trauma. And this bill is about breaking that cycle. State Representative Chris Stearns, a lawyer and member of the Navajo Nation, is advocating for a new law. The law would give a second chance to some convicted criminals who had their juvenile records factored into their original sentencing, a practice that the state banned last year. This is for people who have changed their behavior, who have decided to make amends, who you know have basically been through a re rehabilitation process. It's not for people who show no remorse. The bill's advocates argue that Native American men have had their juvenile records considered as part of their sentencing more so than any other race, pointing to DOC records that show that 41 percent of incarcerated Native Americans had juvenile sentencing points on their records in Washington state. They've already committed these crimes as a juvenile. Now they go on to commit a murder. And that shouldn't that shouldn't count that we show what the, their propensity for violence is. State Rep uh, Jenny Graham opposes the bill arguing it would give teen offenders a free pass. Where we have already had these cases rightfully adjudicated in a separate branch of government, now we have elected pe newly elected people that are coming in um, that are saying, well, we don't agree with that. Well, I don't think that's their place to say we don't agree with that. Current inmate, convicted murderer Our Travis Comeslast, disagrees and offered this testimony child. from prison. I served my punishment for these bad decisions, but yet I'm still being punished. This has increased my sentence by 17 years, giving me a harsher punishment than anyone sentenced today. The bill is currently being debated in the House where it's expected to be voted on. If passed, it'll move to the Senate for consideration. In Olympia, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.